Gentlemen, this next weapon will be of particular interest to some of you. This is the Soviet Avtomat Kalashnikov assault rifle, commonly referred to as the AK-47. This weapon was manufactured around the year 1947 in order to replace the Soviet SKS semi-automatic carbine as the standard infantry weapon in the Russian army. Several of these have been found in just about every satellite country of the Eastern Bloc. The one you see here that I'm holding is, can be easily recognized by the folding stock. The North Korean and Chinese copies and several of the East European nation copies have a wooden stock. And there are several effective designs or offshoots of this basic design of the AK. This weapon fires a 30-round magazine loaded with the Russian 7.62 millimeter M43 cartridge, which is an intermediate round. It falls somewhere between the United States carving round and the M1 rifle round. The intermediate cartridge is not a very good combat load at the present time. This weapon was capable of semi or full automatic fire. It is gas operated, air cooled, shoulder weapon. The maximum effective range of this weapon is 470 meters. Recently, in South Vietnam, a North Vietnamese rifle squad was found to carry seven or more of these as an integral part of that squad. Now let's take a closer look at the outside of this weapon. At the muzzle end of the weapon is a muzzle cap this is used to protect threads that are on the muzzle of this weapon used to screw on a blank adapter, a flash hider, or possibly even a grenade launcher. Directly behind this is the front sight post and front sight. Now this front sight is adjustable for windage during zero of the AK. Behind this, the barrel and running along the top of the barrel is the gas cylinder and the upper hand guard. Next, we find the upper hand guard lock. This is used in disassembly. Above this is a ramp type rear sight. The maximum effective range of the AK is 470 meters, as stated earlier. However, this sight is graduated from 100 meters up to 800 meters. Coming back is the receiver cover. This receiver cover is made of heavy gauge sheet metal stamping. It is one of the few stampings found in this weapon, as we will see later. Protruding from the rear of the receiver cover is a square rear portion of the recoil spring guide. This recoil spring guide is used in disassembly. And on this particular weapon, a folding metal stock. Coming underneath, directly in front of the pistol grip, which is made of wood, we find the trigger and the trigger guard. This trigger guard is not capable of being folded out of the way to allow the shooter to use heavy mittens. Directly in front of this is the magazine release. By pressing forward on the magazine release, the shooter can remove the magazine. Next is the 30 round staggered box magazine. Coming forward is the lower hand guard. And we find in front of this, in its recess, a cleaning rod, which is common to most of your neo Soviet weapons.
Now let's take a look at some of the features along the right side of the AK-47. First, let's look at the selector. This is a three-position selector. When it is in the position that you see it now, the uppermost position, the weapon is on safe. By moving the selector down one notch or to the marking marked AB, as you see on the receiver, the weapon is on full automatic fire. Gentlemen, the cyclic rate of fire of the AK on this setting is approximately 600 rounds per minute. By moving the selector down to the last notch or to the marking OA on the receiver, you have semi-automatic fire, necessitating a pull on the trigger for each shot fired. And the bolt handle. Gentlemen, this bolt has no hold open device. Let's take a look now at some of the features over on the left hand side. Directly above the pistol grip along the lower part of the, or the rear part of the lower receiver, we find the folding stock release. By pressing in on this folding stock release, the stock will fold underneath the weapon for easier carrying purposes. Along with this is the rear sling swivel. And up near the front of the gas cylinder is the forward sling attachment. Gentlemen, let's take a look now at the disassembly phase of the AK-47. Before disassembling the weapon, we must first clear it. To clear the AK-47, first remove the magazine by pressing forward on the magazine release. Next, place the safety lever in either the full automatic or the semi-automatic position. Then pull the bolt to the rear. Inspect the chamber to ensure that there's no ammunition present and allow the bolt to move forward. Remember, as stated earlier, there is no bolt hold open device on this weapon. At this time, for the AK to be considered clear, the safety lever must be placed on safe. However, for disassembly purposes, we are going to leave it in the full automatic position. Place the weapon down with the muzzle to your left and the sights up. Going back to the rear of the receiver cover, press forward on the recoil spring guide which protrudes from the rear. This allows you to remove the receiver cover from rear to front. This receiver cover is one of the few machine stampings incorporated in the AK. Next, go back to the end of the recoil spring guide again and push forward disengaging it from its recess in the rear of the receiver. Then allow the spring to expand to the rear of the weapon. Pull straight out on the recoil spring and recoil spring guide. With one hand, grasp the bolt carrier handle and pull all the way to the rear of the receiver up and out of the gas cylinder. This removes the bolt carrier, the bolt, and the gas piston. Next, we move forward to the handguard lock. 
rotate the handguard lock to approximately a 45 degree angle to the rear sight. This will allow you to remove the handguard and gas cylinder from rear to front. Next, we return to the gas uh, correction, the bolt and bolt carrier. To separate the bolt from the bolt carrier, rotate the bolt until the camming lug and the locking lug are horizontal and the flat portion of the bolt is next to the bolt carrier. Then simply remove it from the front. Gentlemen, this completes the field stripping of the AK-47 for general cleaning purposes. Let's go over once again the parts in order of their removal. The first part removed was the magazine. Next, we removed the receiver cover. Next, the recoil spring and recoil spring guide. Then, the next part to come out was the bolt carrier and piston. If you'll direct your attention to the workmanship that is put in to this piece of equipment, it is no longer made as the World War II Soviet weapons were. This is a machine steel component of the weapon. Next is the bolt. Then the handguard and gas cylinder. And finally, the receiver group. To reassemble the AK-47, we will proceed in the reverse order. To reassemble the handguard to the receiver, ensure that the handguard lock is approximately 45 degrees to the rear sight. Then start the gas cylinder in to its bracket and drop the rear of the handguard down into its slot. Once this is accomplished, simply rotate the handguard lock until it is held in place. Next, we will reassemble the bolt to the bolt carrier. Hold the bolt in a position so that the camming lug and locking lug are horizontal and the flattest portion of the bolt is next to the carrier. Slide it in from the front. Then rotate the bolt until the locking lug engages in its recess and then again push to its forward position. To replace this part back into the receiver, we'll start it in with the piston in first going into the gas cylinder underneath the rear sight. When the locking lugs on the rear of the bolt carrier come even with their recesses in the rear of the receiver, allow the bolt carrier to drop on its bearing surfaces and then move all parts fully forward. Next is the recoil spring and recoil spring guide. Simply insert it into the rear of the bolt carrier until you meet resistance. Then continue slightly forward and allow the locking lugs to engage in their recess in the rear of the receiver. Next, we will put on the receiver cover. To do this, engage the front portion of the receiver cover underneath the rear sight mount. Align the square hole in the rear with the square end of the recoil spring guide and with a forward and downward motion, lock the receiver cover to the receiver. And lastly, we will replace the magazine. This magazine goes in from front and then rotates up to lock. Gentlemen, this completes the general disassembly and assembly of the Soviet AK-47 assault rifle.